Is it on? Okay, good morning. Uh, today we're going to make Kaiser Schmarin. Yesterday my cousin Tati told me that uh, I should make more cooking videos, so this is what I'm going to do. Uh, she told me she, she wants me to make more vegetarian meals, but the thing is, I'm not a vegetarian and I'm not really aware of what vegetarian or vegans eat. I know I could differentiate between a vegan and a vegetarian thanks to my friend uh, Bryce. My friend told me that's it. The difference between a vegan and a vegetarian. A vegan does not eat any animal byproduct at all. Like, they don't even drink milk. They drink soy milk. So the thing is, they have a diet that is so complicated. Well, to me, it's complicated because they would need their protein from somewhere else, which, which is from soybean or, 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 I don't know, tofu, which is from the same thing anyway. So we're just waiting for the pan to heat, to heat up. And we're going to make a Kazuchi Marin. Kazuchi Marin uh, is basically pancakes. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, I don't know, it's pa it's pancakes fit for kings, I guess. It's ca called Kaiser, Kaiser Schmarin. So I don't really know what it means. Uh, it's, uh, it's a Viennese, or it could be a Germany thing, or it could be a Hungary thing. Because, you know, the, the Austria-Hungary -Hung Empire. I'm so hungry right now. Uh, so we're just going to put butter. You don't have to, you could be... Um, generous with your butter or not, it's up to you if you want to be healthy or not. Uh, so just gonna let it swirl. It's good to have a lot of butter because this dish needs a lot of butter. The thing is, there is a healthier option, and today I'm gonna show you. It's it's actually the healthier option if you see the 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 real method of it. It's a lot more unhealthier. This is uh, this is my my method. This is my version of it because nobody taught me how to do this. I just watched it online. I just read it. I just read the recipes, and this is what cooking is all about. You read recipes online and you do it yourself. You don't wait for people to teach you or something. So these are eight whites. These are the eight yolks, milk, flour, and sugar, and salt, and baking powder. Vanilla essence, and so I'm gonna mix just half of this inside. So take this off the heat while you wait. You should be quite gentle. I'm being quite in a hurry with it because in restaurants you can't, you don't have time to be gentle with it. In the restaurant, you have to be really quick, really quick, go, go, go. I am a certified chef, if most of you don't know. Some of my fa friends don't even know I'm actually a chef right now. And I'm like, what? I've been a chef for the past three years. This is my third year of being a qualified chef. Because most of them are still studying and still, you know, in Melbourne or in Sydney or in America, still studying. I don't know why you guys take so long to study when you can just be a chef. I'm kidding. Studying is good. There you go. So, the butter's hot. Pan's hot. So that's nicely mixed in. All the egg whites merrily in. So you just pour it all in. Now don't be afraid of it looking too much right now because it's just perfect right now, it's just perfect for this pan. And I'm not going to give you measurements for this because I never measure, uh, when I make this pancake I never measure so each time I make it, it, it would taste slightly different but my mother loves it. Uh, sometimes I love it, sometimes I don't love it. Sometimes it's it's nice, sometimes it's too fluffy, sometimes it's too, I don't know, too, too something. You can use your hands. Look, in cooking, don't ever be afraid of using your hands. I almost got fired once for using my hands because I didn't wear my gloves. And the thing is, uh, he's wrong because I was not working with raw product. I was working with um, things that, my hands were really clean, so... Um, now, what, put, you have to put this on medium heat, as you can see it's starting to bubble. Now these are reasons, uh, you can put any type of reasons, but um, these are fine. You have to refresh them. Don't put it like 
from dry from really dry reasons so 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 this I would consider this a vegetarian dish because some vegetarians don't eat eggs some do uh, it depends on your preference I guess but I know a lot of vegetarians who eat eggs or you would call yourself pescatarians where you uh, pescatarians eat fish right you eat seafood and you eat you drink milk and you eat eggs so pescatarians uh, it's up to you I, I am I eat everything I eat anything I'm a Muslim I eat only halal things so uh, it's 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 a Muslim diet a pescatarian diet or whatever it's pigeons we have pigeons summer is coming and pigeons are everywhere So that's it. We're gonna wait. It's gonna sit there around five minutes. So you see, it's it's bubbling up, up and down right now. It's gonna probably take five minutes. So I'm gonna show you the fish product, and and we're gonna enjoy the food. As you can see, it's bubbling up and down. So just leave it. Don't be afraid. Don't try to. As you can see, it's really, you know, it's moving around. As you can see, it's moving around. But don't flip it. Wait until it's golden brown outside really like it has a defined shape and it's it's well enough for you to flip it but you wait for it don't be too eager to flip it right now because even though it's moving quite nicely it's not ready or if you just you want to flip it like that no that's wrong it's gonna leave such a mess and you're gonna be so frustrated and you're not gonna even gonna cook anymore so we'll be back and that's it